differentiated meteorite pan bodies or asteroids have been more or less completely molten, which means a metallic and a silicate phase separated and if the body was very large then it likely formed a core, a mantle and maybe even a crust. Now the undifferentiated meteorite pan bodies um, did not melt completely. And there are two main structures that are suggested how these asteroids looked like or even look. Um, the one is the onion shell model and the other one on the right is the rubble pile. Now the onion shell model on the left is what we would probably first imagine these asteroids developed. They also got hot and then there was a thermal gradient from the center towards the border of these asteroids, which means that um, a more metamorphic overprint happened in the core of these asteroids than at the border of these asteroids. Now we classify the meteorites according to their pathologic type, which means um, the degree of metamorphism they experience. And this means then that in the core of such onion shell pan bodies there are the type 6 meteorites, then type 5, type 4 and type 3 meteorites. So if you look, for example, at primitive chondrites, like primitive carbonaceous ordinary or enzyme chondrites, these might be samples from the rim of such onion shell pan bodies. Now the second type is the rubble pile here on the right. In this rubble pile, um, the various pathologic types or various lithologies are in direct contact with each other. So for example, there's a type 4 lithology in direct contact here with the type 6 lithology. And this is something you find in meteorites. So we know that something like rubble pile asteroids um, must exist or must have existed. And these are most likely second generation or must be second generation um, asteroids. And they might originate from such onion shell asteroids that got disrupted, fragmented and then reassembled. But it is also possible that there was sort of a third type of parent bodies and these got over homogeneously, had a homogeneous temperature. So there were maybe parent bodies of entire type 4 or parent bodies, asteroids of entire type 5 or also of entire type 3. Completely homogeneous, maybe because they were quite small and they didn't develop a large temperature gradient. And these also could form could have formed such a rubble pile asteroid, either by also becoming fragmented, or if these were just meters size, they could have been, if the rubble pile asteroid is very large, they could have been completely incorporated. So these are the different types of lithologies uh, and um, panned bodies we, we think existed, because we also have very good evidence from dating uh, in correlation with petrologic type that onion shell asteroids exist, so most likely all these different types of asteroids existed in the early solar system or even exist, of course, nowadays they're not hot anymore. And these are the different types of undifferentiated meteorite parent bodies.